Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to LES Matters TV. On today's episode of LES Matters TV, I'm going to be giving out another interview tips. Yes, so this is a season of interviews. Educators thinking of changing from one organization to another. Imagine early childhood educators, you just finished out of college, you're applying for jobs, looking for job positioning. So, one of the likely questions you're going to be asked at a job interview is what skills is required to work with young children? Educators, you need to understand that you're not the only one applying for that job. You are competing against a whole lot of others and your future employers need to know that you are the right candidate for the job. So you're likely to be asked a question of, it's not even likely, you're going to be asked a question of what skills is required to work with young children. So now let's go, are you going to answer the question? So the first skill you need to be talking about is patience. You need to let your future employer know that patience is required to work with young children. So you could also give a few scenarios of what patience is needed. So you could cite an example saying, for instance, God kept on calling you, seeking for your attention. They want something. And you as an educator, what you have to do, you have to be patient to be able to listen to them, to be able to attend to their needs. So cite an example. I want you to know that when you're talking about these skills, cite few examples examples don't just list the skills and talk about those skills cite few examples so the first skill you should be talking about is patience so the next skill you should talk about empathy so what do I mean by empathy is all about you putting yourself in the child's shoes putting yourself in the children's shoes putting yourself in the shoes of the other educators in the room as well so you should be talking about Ati. So another skill you should be talking about is non-judgmental approach. So what do I mean by non-judgmental approach? Like I said, Ella, give a scenario. Tell them that, for instance, if your children are coming, you have to be welcoming, you have to, be, you have to listen to them, you're not going to be biased, you're not going to be stereotypical about the children. So cite examples. All of this your future employers want to know. So another skill you should be talking about is you talk about being kind, being loving. So let your future employer know that it's really important important that for someone that wants to work as an early childhood educator, they need to be kind, they need to be loving, and they also need to be what? They, are, they need to be attentive. So talk about this as well. Tell them that, okay, someone that wants to be an early childhood educator needs to be attentive, paying attention to detail. And lastly, talk about the skills that is needed that you have to be able to work as a team. To know this because working as a team is really important in the area of early childhood so tell them that okay for someone that wants to work as an early childhood educator it's also important that they can work as a team rob minds so they want to know this so you could give a scenario of okay robbing minds so you could talk about okay in times of planning for children's play like if you get the job you're going to be consulting with other early childhood educator mapping out plans to be able to support the children needs so i tell you if you talk about all of the skills that are listed because these are the important skills that is needed for someone that wants to work with young children i tell you if you talk about all the skills you will smash it you're definitely going to get the job and if this type of video on this channel what do you have to do subscribe and not just subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified each time a new video is being dropped on the channel until i come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye